So we got a real exciting project today. We're doing Reddit Garage's first sponsored video ever. Pretty much the deal was they sent us uh, free parts to try it on review. But the deal is, it's an honest review. Yes. So if we don't like it, we're gonna tell you. We're not gonna put our name on anything that we don't like that isn't durable, that we don't agree with. It's called integrity. Integrity. <laughs> As you see, we have our Focus behind us, our 2001 Ford Focus, our Gambler Special. We use this car for off-roading in the Gambler 500 event. If you check that out, we got videos on it. Google it, whatever. That's what we're here about today. This thing is in desperate need of a new exhaust system. Yes. I don't think it has an exhaust system. I think we lost it down a trail, and the only thing that's left is the header before the catalytic converter, Manifold. I believe. Manifold. Manifold, yeah, yeah. what you want to call it? Yeah. Basically, from the engine back, there's nothing. Yeah. And the kit that we got today replaces everything that we still have. <laughs> yes. So, the company, is Dynavox. They do- Enter their name here. Insert, yeah. That, <laughs> right here. That's yeah, the, their name <laughs> their is here. <laughs> so Dynavox was awesome. They reached out to us, asked us if we had any products in their catalog that looked interesting. And they had a lot of cool stuff. They had a lot of on-road, off-road car things. A lot of truck stuff, a yep. lot of, uh, seen a lot of performance stuff. It all looks pretty custom made. It looked decent on the website. Yeah, it did. And uh, most of their stuff really didn't fit any of our projects, but, I saw Ford Focus in their catalog and I knew our little gambler here needs a nice fancy header on it. Yes. That's a header. Oh, I just can't, well, we told him. It's fine. So, let's check it out. So, I've looked at it once before. He hasn't seen it yet. No, so I'm not. You pull it out. Take All a look. All right. I mean, take it off the bubble wrap. Yeah, I put it back on just for the reveal. Oh, did you? It's going to annoy me. Yeah. <laughs> but I can pop the bubbles. Don't pop the bubbles. They're very poppable. Oh, uh, no, 10 out of 10, poppy bubble wrap. All right. So I guess TIG welded. I mean, stainless steel. Yeah, it's, it's a header. The welds actually look pretty nice on it. They got the porch for the O2, so yep. you don't have to do anything. They have that. one up over here as well for EGR, I believe. Oh, is that what that, I was looking yeah, at? I was like, another right. port here. So, I mean, they got this thing set up for whatever you need to connect to it exhaust wise. Yeah. So. They got inside welded in the pipes so the flange that go onto the head. The outside, they only look like they tack welded the top there. So, I mean, it, it should be fine. But yeah, I, it, first impressions, it looks pretty decent. They welded fully on the inside for the collector of all the pipes. Yeah, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't hold up. Hopefully. And it's shiny, so 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> fit the car at all, but it needs it. So we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a try. First there's impression. Like, there's more in the box. Oh. Did you not look at Oh, there is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, they, so they didn't just send us that. The header they, looks good. They gave us the whole kit. So basically they did. for they everything we have. The flex pipe and everything. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. So that's what it kind of replaced for like the... I'm pretty sure that's where it broke off. It was somewhere around it here. It was, I think we broke right off at the actual flange. Yeah. So with this, we'll actually be able to put an exhaust system back on the car. It's extremely loud, which for the gambler, it's cool and all, but when you got to drive, you know, three, four, five hours it with it. It was fun two years ago. Yeah, it gets, it gets a little bit... I've been wanting to like uh, upgrade it from, or downgrade, I don't know. I've been wanting to retire it from being a gambler car to be more of a fun little street car, something more streetable. And with no exhaust system, that sucks. And yeah. so hopefully this will actually get me to put the exhaust on it and uh, it'll be made yeah. drivable again. This is, just yeah. this is awesome because it doesn't have it. So this yeah. looks good too. Again, same quality as the header there. Welds look decent. Yeah. Flex pipe looks all right. Stainless. The flanges look all right. We got the gasket. Yep. We got, well, we got three gaskets. So the yeah. gasket you expect. And then the two for that. Yep. So, so this I bike. think is would replace is they brought they gave us this. So if we don't want to use this, so you just, we can use this and create a custom pipe for wherever our application is. All right, cool. The fact that they sent that, because I'm assuming that's what that is. If not, we'll cut this out or tell you. Yeah. So yeah, that this will bolt right up to it. And that way I can run a custom exhaust, route it however I want, which I find the fact that that's super cool. We're gonna do a stock routing, so we probably won't use this part. Yeah. But the fact that that's even there. I'll give I'll give them a win for that. Yeah, that's a win. Um, the only other thing I noticed on here too that has me a little bit skeptical, uh, just in general about the quality of parts that we've been seeing these days, is the kit is actually made in China. So we'll be honest about that. That's says it right on the box. Says. So hopefully we're surprised, and it's a, one of the good parts yeah. that you can get. 
from a manufacturer that has operations yes. overseas. But this company, uh, Dynavox, they're located out of Colorado. Yep. So they're still US based. A message to them, they actually seem to be like real people, not bots. Yeah, they, they actually seen videos that we posted instead they, of just having some AI technology it's go a out really there. Good and, follow up and yeah. uh, honestly, they said they're sending the parts out. These things showed up in like within that week. Yeah, I think it was like seven. four days or something. Yeah, so I was really yeah. impressed with the shipping. And so far, working with them, they seem really easy to work with. So we're hoping that this works out pretty well and we continue to work with them. Yeah. I'll be willing to use your parts together if it sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. And if it lasts for more than, you know, yeah. a month. <laughs> well, we got a we got a gambler coming up actually next week. So yes. we have to get this installed today and do a tune up on the car. I don't see any reason why we should not be on today. Yes. Yeah. We're really bad or these really suck, but I think these are gonna be good. Hopefully. So we'll be able, to take, be able to take them on the trail at the end of this video and we'll get a, we actually test them because I've driven this car enough on the trails to know if we'll have a performance difference. But this is, <laughs> this is already nicer than this whole entire car. Uh, let's show them the car off a bit because you guys might have never seen our car. Yeah, we can uh, Let's yeah. get this, uh, we'll get these parts set aside for a second because I mean to pop the hood and show you guys. So, so you can get a really good view of it. 2001 Ford Focus, slightly modified. Slightly. Uh, we had a theme with this car. The goal was we had to make an off-road car, but I wanted to hide all the off-road features of the car. And other than you can see there was a wench on the front. Uh, we did early 2000s uh, Need for Speed style, like early uh, street racing culture. So we put this Walmart spoiler on it, but we had these custom uh, tail pieces made on it for the Gambler 500, because that's what it's for. Uh, we get all the decals. I think I spent more on the decal than I did in the car. Yes. So I paid eight hundred dollars for the car and two Fieros. Yep. Yeah. And yep. then uh, one of our previous videos, we got that Fiero running. If you're interested. Uh, I found a nice set of SVT rims that we run on it, but we have uh, we run different tires on the trail. We'll get to that eventually. And it doesn't have a door handle. If you look inside, we got some inappropriate anime seat covers. Uh, we got a flip up stereo. And the cool thing about the stereo is we have a PS2 hooked up to it. So we can play that on that stereo. Yes. This doesn't help with off-roading, but... It's really cool. Though. It makes me happy. It matches the theme quite nicely. Now, let me fire the car up, because I got to... Our hood is currently held up by the winch. That yeah. is the hood safety pin. <laughs> uh, keys should be ignition. Yep. And I'll just let you guys hear how loud this is already with the original exhaust with it all missing. Listen to this bad boy. So this is how it sounds with the stock exhaust and only the manifold. So this is actually a great test of their headers because we'll get a one-to-one -one, uh, comparison from uh, with the stock with the non-exhaust because there's no mufflers on this car. No. This is how it just sits with no exhaust. We beat the hell out of this thing. We do. So we're going to really stress test these headers on this car because this car gets abused. It gets jumped. It's never been washed. It has full skid plates underneath it. It does, yeah. Uh, let's pop the hood. So look at the hood. I got, I'm going to let the winch out. Lower. There you go. There we go. Hood's open. Yep, hood's open. Oh, you see this right here? This is our uh, Amazon AutoZone hood scoop, but it's actually functional and has a purpose. Yeah. We may or may not eliminate it today, but it's our snorkel. Yeah, and we, uh, and as you see water dripping out of it since it's been it's sitting, seen but. It's better days. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the car off because we gotta play with the headers and those yeah, be, yeah, don't it's get gonna it be hot. hot. Yeah. Uh, oh, and our uh, stick that holds the battery in place. Yeah, that fell out. It's factory. The one time. I see. Let's start taking the hood off. Yeah. I have another hood I'm gonna put on the car. It's a great time to do it because we're gonna we're kind of de off roading it a little bit, and the other hood's cooler. So. Yeah, don't break my hood. I'm gonna break your hood. Don't break the hood. I believed in you the whole time. Thanks, Dad. Now we gotta get the header off or manifold. Yes, yes. So yeah, I guess step one, take that off. It's hot. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> you touched it. I just want to touch the bolt. No, oh, you think those are gonna come off nice? No. Yeah, when we take it. Oh wow! Oh, well, it's lied. hot. Uh, it's, it's I warmed it for you. That is. <laughs> Why am I doing this? 
heat shields pop, still hot, so we've been just poking it. Yeah. And then it uh, looks like we have the power steering line, I think it is. Yeah. And we're just gonna remove these two. Eight mils. Eight mils. So that way we have room, we can swing this out of the way. Hopefully we can get to our manifold. Yes. Just right there. There it goes. <laughs> that was supposed to have more effort. Nope. There you go, there's your header slash manifold looking thing. Everyone's looked at this. Nope. What the? Yeah, weird design, huh? So, pop the collector bolts off, the rest of the bottom of the exhaust will drop so down. I think that's the collector, and nope. it goes right to the... Catalytic converter. Oh, and there's our O2, right that there. Will, yep, right there. We'll just, we're gonna just not take that off and let it go out with the car, and then we'll mess with it on the bench or we something. We might just go take it out, or I might just go buy one real quick. Yeah, they're not that expensive not for a these. bad time to replace it. Why will this not come off? Oh, probably because we never washed it. <laughs> <laughs> Old, new. It's a lot. Oh, it's it's pretty toasty. Unburnt. Yeah, it's hot. All right, there you go. That's off of there. Besides the uh, EGR. Yeah, take it off. Ah, uh, we need a big wrench for that one. So you're taking this big old pipe. We're getting on the EGR. Trying to. to. Hurt that connector. Movement, what? Sure is. Put the cheat sauce on there. I like how it's still smoking, it's still hot. Mm hmm. Don't you have crow's feet? Wrenches? No, I have people feet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's doing that. Let me show you guys what we got going underneath this car. Uh. And why I've made it, we've made it challenging for ourselves. So as you see, we have a couple skid plates that we uh, are homemade underneath this. So this one protects the lines and where we are go. We have this random one that is bolted on somehow. And I forgot because we did it years ago. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure out how to remove that so we can get our exhaust out. Yay. Me. Yeah, that's a terrible spot for anything. <clears throat> okay, don't know if you guys would have to do this for your own, but we are. Ooh, wow. dealing with it. I don't think it's wanting to budge, which is a problem because we need it to budge. Who would have guessed? Emissions related stuff is messing us up. Turn? Nope. Just stripping them out. Screw it, I want the header on. Cut it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Go. Order a new EGR tube for it. Cool. Call that good. So yeah, and as you just saw, we had to cut the EGR tube and we're just gonna replace it, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yeah. They don't want to come out and it's just stripping it, so. And even the videos we Googled of other people doing this, they had to cut that tube and replace it, so. <laughs> yep. Other than that, the whole bottom pipe can come out now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I need to hit a little bit more with that too, with this. It didn't go out all the way. What, Some the reason there now. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Things being a really. There we go. There we go, just hit the ground. <laughs> and it's out. Woo. We can scrap the catalytic converter and make our money back for our, the tube. Yeah. <laughs> And that's our, uh, that's our old one. And the good thing we're doing this because our tube was already cracked there. Oh, it's coming off nice? Yeah. Yeah, now just take those bolts off and we can slide our new we piece in. a couple more to do, but yeah, I mean, otherwise than that there. 
They all seem like they're pretty happy. We can probably run it with the EGR off for a minute, can't we? Yeah, for a little bit. It's not going to like it, but it'll run. Dude, it's going to fall on your face, you know? Yeah, I know. Oh, nice action. <laughs> oh, looks free free. All right, let's grab her out. Let Pull her out. it on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, oh, she's a snug one. I don't think up is good either, honestly speaking. I think down is our best bet, but. How are they going to go in? I don't know. I have to pull the fans temporarily. Temporary. Oh, down there she you goes. Go. So, oh, so the exhaust like went up and then collected down. So now we're going to have straight. Oh, so that is going to be a really nice upgrade. My only concern is how much wider is this than that? Oh, but yeah, there you go. Hopefully this just kind of slips up in there and yeah. Unless we might have to drop the fans, but we'll see. Yeah, if we have to reposition some stuff, we have to reposition some stuff. Yep. But hey, I'm already excited how that's gonna. Yeah. And then hey, we're gonna actually have a bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it goes like that. Oh, because this that essentially replaces this piece. Exactly. Oh, because that's the yep. bottom. Yeah. So it'll be like this. So would you say this job is exhausting? Yes. I'm quite exhausted. <laughs> One time you're not disappointed, my dad joke. <laughs> Don't just accept it. <laughs> I'm accepting it. All right, well, let's uh, grab the herdware here. See what we got going on here. Those are all for the other side. Uh, do we need... These are all for the collectors. Great. So we gotta reuse. We gotta reuse what we have. Oh, that's fine. Awesome. Good thing we didn't damage anything. Yeah, good thing we, everything came out. So, review of that. After Josh shuts up. <laughs> that is just to bolt the rest of the uh, collectors together as not for the header itself. So we had to reuse the hardware from the original one, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that's the only bummer, but thankfully it's we didn't damage the hardware. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it does make sense with the number we got. Mm, it does now, looking so, at it. That sucks. So, as you guys are doing it, keep in mind... Uh, the EGR may, is probably going to break on you. Yeah, you might want to plan that upgrade at this time, too. Yep. Exactly. All right. New one going in. Hell yeah. Cool to see what this dino box is all about. Oh, look. All the room. Right. So, my only complaint about this so far is this tube out of right. uh, the number one cylinder is hitting the oil dipstick. Mm. So, that tube there is hitting. So, that's not a great fitment for that right there. So, we'll probably have to, yeah, tweak that over a bit. So. That's not too that's not terrible, that's but easy that's the only out. yeah. And looks, probably no, this could have been tweaked. Uh, potentially, probably not, because we haven't really played with the engine. But yeah, so that's the benefit of the doubt. But but so, yeah, I'm seeing dive box guys. You're watching. That's one thing we have an issue with. Yeah, not too bad. Just needs to be over a little bit that's more. That's super minor. So if that's all the issues we're gonna have, I had a, I pushed it me. over too a bit so oh. to get it because these are you can obviously see they're off center. Yeah. the way that the bolts are going in but yeah but if you're doing, if you're already going this far to do a custom manifold yeah to bend that and header over i think you can figure that too problem bad. out i hope we want to just run it real quick we can just run it real quick yeah we'll fire it up we still have the egr valve on we gotta take our more stuff off so might as well yeah, exactly. we clean up and uh we're not going to get the full exhaust done today so this wasn't too bad. I don't feel like we put that much effort into this. No, no, we didn't. It was just. This is a uh, quick after work activity for us. So, yep. We start late in the day. Yes, we always do. If you do this in the weekend in your own garage with a buddy and a case of beer, it's a pretty easy job. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Oh, so there's that. Look at that, though. Nice fit right underneath the oil fan. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, that looks so nice. I know, right? I feel bad fighting with a skid plate again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start it up, see how it sounds real quick. Yeah, that's 
okay, I'm impressed. Yeah. This doesn't take much to impress us. But right now, mind you, there's no exhaust on this, so we are just hearing the pure header, header yeah. on the car. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, and you saw over there where we have stuff pulled off, we didn't have anything other than the header or the manifold on it before. Yeah. So this is now a one-to-one -one comparison to what we've been driving for three years. And, well, first of all, if I drove it like this, it'd be insanely annoying. So yeah. it'd be nice putting a muffler on. But thankfully, because you saw our stuff was broken, we got the actual flex pipe, and we'll be able to attach the rest of the exhaust on there. Yeah. Overall impressions for the installation, how do you feel? Uh, what's good, what's bad? Quality of the part installed great. The fitment's pretty good besides it touching the dipstick tube. I mean, honestly, otherwise than that, but that's a simple, we just pushed it out of the way. I don't really like to bend them things because they, especially in an old car, they can be a little cruddy yeah. and rusted. So you just be careful when you do it. Bolted in real nice. The fitment's good. The bolts line up good. And the, the fitment's really nice underneath the car so far. It fit right where the stock one was, yep. no problems. Uh, it looks nice too. Yeah, it does. It looks and really good. The welds look good. As you heard, uh, right now we have open header, it's just the header, and it sounded mean. It sounds like a race car. Yeah. And this is, even with the exhaust off it, it just sounded like crap. And yeah. It's kind of like, it never had the exhaust system, so I never drove it because I uh, just like, it's loud and I don't like it. But now it sounds like a sports car. <laughs> And I'll probably drive it because uh, I hate my neighbors. But as you see, we're just doing this in our driveway. Yeah. We have a shop, but we're just doing it in the driveway. And if you guys are doing it, you won't have a skid plate in the way. Yeah, that you have to cut bolts off. And of. hopefully less mud and abuse. And bugs. But we're off roady people, and we do weird things with weird cars. And now this car is too nice. We're going to be hater class. Yeah. So, so far, Dynavox, I'm pretty happy with your guys' product. Yeah. So right. thanks for sending it to us. Uh, I can't wait to see if we can break it next weekend. Yep, and then we'll do an update when we drive this thing a lot more and yeah. see how it holds up. Oh yeah, and uh, I think I forgot to say it early in the video, we got a, uh, a code for a discount for you guys. Yeah. Here's the code here, yep. and here's the percentage right here. So yeah, check down in the comments down below. I've always wanted to say that, we've never done that. Yeah, check, yeah, check in the below. description. Uh, you'll have yeah, the description. discount code and a link so you guys can go find your stuff. Use our code. We actually get a little bit of kickback if you buy something. I don't know if I told you that. Yeah. We actually get a little bit of a kickback if you guys buy one of their products yep. and use our code. So that'd be really cool because then they can help us uh, do cooler things than the new EGR afford too. focus and stuff. Too. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, it'd be cool not to work on a Ford Focus. But, you know. I love my Ford Focus. They're really great. And if you guys do, let us know. Go in the comments and tell us if you got a part and tell us if you liked it or if you've got their parts in the past. Yeah. Tell us about your experience because so far we were pretty positive. And that's not because they sell us free parts. No. This is true. Like I said, like this car, we didn't care too much about it. At that's the why we used it. <laughs> so yeah, it was a good demo car. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool. All right, Dynavox, cool. we're, we're pretty happy so far. See this? So let's do our fun, our, our now trademark turn. Oh. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. We're scared. Cross. <laughs> don't cross it. I, cross I won't it. do it. <laughs> <laughs>
as you saw, we've been on the trails, we've been having a great time, and we made it home. We made the extra, another 210 miles home after the whole weekend, after three days of us driving. Yep. Uh, it got 855 miles on it, and we even won the uh, longest for this distance, for this distance driven. Yep. And we'll show you guys how it looks. It's no longer newly, freshly installed. It now has 855 miles put on her. And uh, it got, as you can see, it's dirty because we've been using it on the trails. Yes. And as you can see, it's starting to have that, that fun like titanium or whatever material they made out yeah, of. Yeah, it's got hot. It's got the yeah. blue wing on it. Yeah, and it's starting to get some, you can see it's had heat. It's been heat cycled. The nut on the EGR, that changed colors, but that wasn't their kit. That was us. Yep. I put that on. But yeah, this thing did great. Only issues we had all weekend had nothing to do with the header. Overall, the header, it was great. It kind of woke the car up a bit. Like, it makes it more, sounds like it should. It makes it more racy inspired. So I liked it. I definitely, I'd buy it again. Or for the first time. <laughs> I would definitely use them again. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, so far the products uh, it seems pretty good. The company seemed pretty responsive. So if you guys want to check out Dynavox and their exhaust parts, uh, as I said, they got stuff obviously for Ford Focus. And they got a bunch of stuff for a lot of different things. Jeeps, uh, trucks, a lot of diesel, EGR, delete kit things and stuff I saw. All the fun off-roady performance. So, and we have a discount code for you guys. So use this code right here to get yourself a discount. Off of any Dynavox product. Yes, I believe so. Yes. <laughs> so use that code, and then uh, they'll know you guys like us, and then we get more stuff, and then we do more videos, and you guys get more codes, and then it's a wonderful circle of life. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so before we wrap this up, we're going to pop this on the ramps, and we're going to pop the skid plate, and we're going to see if it got banged up or anything, because we used the skid plate, and it definitely bounced on things. So <laughs> yes, we'll see how that exhaust looks now that uh, it's done all the drive. And the things awesome. and the stuff. Let's we'll jack it up real quick. Bring them on in here. They can see the current damage. Yeah, I haven't even looked under it. So it's pretty dented. So pretty formed fit now. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is going to place. Yeah. So here's our skid plate. All its glory. And yeah, uh, I think it has new dents. Yeah. I think oh yeah. That's new. That's all new. That's right on the exhaust, I think. Yeah, exactly. I think that's oh. right on the exhaust. So, we'll see how this thing done. But uh, yeah, you can see all the dirt. Oh, look at that. Rip this down, too. Must have backed uh, over something. Maybe. But yeah. All right, let's zip it off real quick. Oh, that one's a bigger one. It's not bad. Hey, look at it. From so, you can tell that we had uh, it rubbing on this right here mm -hmm. the entire time. It, uh, it looks like it's completely fine, though. It did not deshape, deform. No, nothing. Yeah, because uh, our we the skid plate was a little higher up. That probably should have been or made its way up. So yeah, you can see it's uh it was rubbing against the skid plate. Yeah. And it got beat and bashed, but the skid plate did its job. And then this took. So yeah, we literally gave the exhaust a beating. Yeah. And, and it performed very well. Yeah, so I'm happy. And then yeah, everything there is there. No melted wires, nothing bad. No nope. clearance is good. All the issues we had were nothing related to that part, so that's awesome. That's that. Go buy it if you want. Your option. If you want a long tube header on your Focus, Dynavox got you. Heck yeah. Cool. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been a wrap. It's been a wrap.